guys, John here again. <clears throat> oh yeah, I forgot. Um, Sir Cloudy Mulder. I wore this t-shirt especially for you. <laughs> but I ain't doing no man of war um, by taking it off. <laughs> no, this stays firmly. On. <laughs> right. Uh, next. This is my part two of my um, con contest draw of the, I'll say that again, <laughs> this is my um, part two video, because I ran out of time. Who the hell runs out of time doing a, um, a drawing of the contest? <laughs> Only me. Um, I'm getting a bit peed off on my PC at the moment. Right, I need some light. Um, oh, we're going to go on to Mr. Comic Book Man, Andy's Vinyl Den. And uh, I love the poster. That was amazing, Andy. Um, but I'm going to do your big four first. You did 70s prog rock. Now, I'm not into yes, but that's your first one. Okay, so I shouldn't have done that. Um... King Crimson, I really like um, Greg Lake when he was doing that, um, I, no I just, yeah on that first album, I've not listened to all of it, but I really, I've got it on cassette, um, but I can't, I, I haven't listened to the other King Crimson stuff later on. Um, for some reason, I cannot get into ELP, Emerson Lake and Palmer, and I tried, um, borrowed some CDs off of somebody and really couldn't do it. I, I tried, I really wanted to like it, um, there's a huge, I loved Greg Lake's um, Christmas song, that was one of my favorite, always my favorite song growing up as a kid, even till now. Um, I like the song Lucky Man. I just could never get into ELP. The Moody Blues I've never listened to. So I can't really say on there. But that's your big four. Yes, King Crimson, ELP, Moody Blues. And like I said in the other video, there's going to be a playlist of everybody's videos. So if anybody wants to watch them again, they're there. If they want to find out more detail about what people have said, um then you can do that um they'll just be easier to find that way um right yeah so your poster i loved it to bits and i would like um i would love to have one of my um my actual um band that i chose done exactly how you did because that was really cool um Right, so your fantasy, um, con uh, fantasy festival, Dio, awesome, Queenstrike, awesome, Pink Floyd, awesome, Rush, that's another band I can't, I struggle with, Alice Cooper, awesome, Led Zeppelin, awesome, Judas Priest, awesome, Kiss, awesome, Maiden, awesome, uh, what's that? What have I put there? Oh, on your headliner, Black Sabbath. Awesome. Um, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath um, album. I'm actually, I know you said, so, I'm sure you said you weren't too keen on the albums after so much. I actually got back, I started listening to Sabotage again. And I was just like, I love it to bits. I actually, oh, it was just so cool. I used to listen to them as a, you know, my mid te early teens, mid teens, earphones in at night time, pitch black in the bedroom, just laying there on my pillow, at my bed, just and just rock. Just it was just amazing, you know. Um, when you got the earphones in, it just seems like the music's so much better. You can go into that world, but yeah, cool. There you go, and that's what I wrote. On there, it's lucky I don't write anything insulting. 
because uh, I think people. <laughs> I remember watching a film where somebody was a, a, a psychiatrist, and they were um, they were taking notes of what the people were saying. Oh yes, I can't remember what the film was now. It wasn't making notes actually. It was uh, drawing. Um, oh, I know what it was. It was uh, the thing with Gillian Anderson and and the other guy, and he played a um, sort of like stalker type person. Um, and he was in. He was. And he drew a picture. There was the 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 what the. the the, I think it was a parents' evening thing or whatever, or psychiatrist thing. Yeah, pet marriage guidance thing it was. And there was a, the 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 woman and the bloke. And instead of writing down what they were saying, he was just drawing a picture of um, <laughs> the bloke banging his wife. <laughs> and I just thought, how cool. Right, so there you go, Andy's vinyl den. Straight in. Um, yeah, so. Yes. Oh, here we go. Cool. Oh, there's loads of cool ones here. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. Who should I put in? Here we go. Vinyl Victim. This is Brett. Um, here you go, Brett. Just to prove I've done yours. Write it all down. So, your big four, mate. 1950s jazz. I wasn't expecting that from you, mate. But I know you like loads of different things. Um, I'm not a jazz lover. Um, but that was a really good thing to do. Um, to we, I don't think, <laughs> I didn't think many of us would have expected you to have done a 1950s jazz thing. And, uh, you know, that was just, you know... I just couldn't, I couldn't believe that. I was thinking to myself, right, I wonder what he's going to do. It's going to be something hair metal. It's going to be, or it might be something, uh, you know, early 80s, like everybody else had done, Rat, Motley Crue. And I, I thought, yeah, you might have put Bon Jovi in or something like that, because I know you're a huge fan of Bon Jovi, like me. Um, but yeah. To say 1950s jazz, I was like, really? <laughs> but yeah, you got Miles Davis, Dave Burr, Brubeck, Brew, <laughs> Brew and I had to watch the video, your video, three times to get this next name, Ornette Coleman. And yeah, I, I, I was like, did he just say Ornette? <laughs> and honestly, I was, I was, I was like, who the bloody hell's that? <laughs> Right, John Coltrane as well. But your other side, your uh, festival. Uh, I think you said you'd put these in order, but obviously if people want to see your video, they'll have to check it out. But this is what you got. Armoured Saint. I have actually got an Armoured Saint album. And I think it's called La Raza or something like that. I can't remember. I haven't listened to it all and I don't know if they're very good or not. Next one you got Black and Blue and then Y and T. I am into Y and T now. Black Tiger, what an amazing song, I just love it. How I don't know how I'd never discovered that song before. I love that song. Uh Great White, mm, awesome. Anthrax Testament Dio Saxon, I do have, I have loads of Saxon stuff, probably not as good much as you. Um, Iron Maiden and Judas Priest, and there's your thing there. Uh, so you're in the tin. Um, who should we do next? Ah, yes. Oh, bloody hell! So is it that ghost again? Every time I put my Ozzy and Randy record up there, the ghost comes around and knocks it over. Right, who are we going to do next? Yeah, 
Here we go. I'm going to do Dan Powers. Hi, Dan. Um, right, Dan Powers. One of my very good friends on this VC. Um, and uh, we're going to do your... Obviously, this is Thrash, eh? So, your big four in Thrash. Anthrax, Testament, Exodus, Overkill. I don't listen to any of them. Sorry, mate. But, um... There is a band on here, on your festival, that when I saw the record, I actually went out because I knew you were into the band. And that band is the second one I'm going to call out. The first one, your, oh, your festival is going to be called the Powers That Be Festival, which is a cool name with your last name. Um, so we've got Metal Church, and then the album that I picked up with, which I didn't even know that this this guy was in, who was in Metallica uh, after, um, and that's Flotsam and Jetsam. And I've got the record down there, and I've not played it yet. Wasp, Judas Priest, um, Forbidden. I've heard of that name, but I never heard their stuff. Halloween, Halloween. Hopefully, well, I'm sure it'll be the first generation Halloween. Halloween. I keep calling it Halloween, but it's Halloween. Rat. You know I like them. Dokken, Yes. Iron Maiden, and the mo one of the most amazing bands ever, Queensryche. Yes. Especially the Jeff Tate, early. Up until Promised Land, and you know exactly what I mean by that. Um, that's why I was a bit, I was shocked um, when Christopher Garmo came back into the fold, and they did that here in the Now Frontier album and that was a bit like okay and when that came out I knew things were going the wrong direction and in a bad way um, but now they've got new singer I haven't listened to the albums I've listened to some of the songs and it all seems really good so uh, Queen Strike awesome and uh, I'm going to stick you in the pot. Right, who can we f ah? Who can we follow next? Ah, yes, let's do um, let's do old old hag. <laughs> I couldn't put your name on Ron. <laughs> I put metal Ron, and when I got to the thing, I put hag. <laughs> Brackets. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I was like, what was it? Yeah, it's Haggerty, eh? Sorry, dude. Well, here we go. Doom Metal. The only Doom band I listen to would be Black Sabbath. And I think Paradise Lost you can call. I know I'm, not many people mention Paradise Lost. And I love, I love their stuff. And uh, I don't know if you listen to Paradise Lost, Ron, but give it a go it's definitely not as uh, they're, they're more like gothic and doom but I think um, probably not um, heavy enough for you uh, the early stuff is and Metal Mickey will vouch for that um, Big Four Doom Metal, St Vitus Trouble Candlemas and Pentagram Obviously, the only one out of them I've heard is Candlemas and Pentagram. The other two I'd never heard. Uh, then your festival. Hyrax, never heard of those. Crocus. I love screaming in the night. I'll say that again. I love screaming in the night. Yeah. Don't take that any other way, because... Uh, yeah. My girlfriend will get uh, yeah, funny ideas. <laughs> Crowbar. I remember them, but I wasn't into that. Rat. Candlemas. Striper. Megadeth. 
Overkill, Iron Maiden, and Black Sabbath. Awesome. There you go, Mr. Haggerty. And when you do try and copy my accent, uh, you sounded like you were from the West Country in Cornwall, down that way. Cornwall, Somerset, um, which is how... <laughs> I can't do I can't do an impression of them, but you did cat you did get it right like for for down there, but I'm like about another hundred miles, <laughs> eighty whatever miles south or hundred miles onto another island. So yes, someone actually told me at one stage when I was when I was working when I used to run a a wine and beer shop. And they said to me, he came in, because I used to go, good day, like, just to be nice. And then they said to me, oh, what part of Australia are you from? I went, I'm not from Australia. <laughs> oh, my God. Right. Um, here we go. Who should we choose next? Let's go. Let's go with the man of the um, hour. Metal Mickey. Hi, <laughs> No, nah, you're a bit, you're quite further south than that. Eh? Um, right, what are we can do? Oh, I've got this the wrong way around. Uh, your big four, the Offspring. I have got, I did. There is an Offspring album that I really. There's a song that I really love. I think the album's called Ignition. I'm just going to double check and uh, I'm just going to have a look with there. Oh, Offspring Ignition album. Is that the one? That's the one. The Ignition album from 1992. There's a song on here, which some little slapper that I used to go, well, I was uh, messing around with. Uh, yeah. Before, yeah, before I met my current girlfriend. <laughs> she um, said to me, she said, oh, she loves this song. And actually, I love it as well. Where's it gone? I've got to find the track listing. Here we go. I don't want it to play. Um, it's not that one. Dirty Magic. I think that's the song. Yes. Uh, I love that song, Dirty Magic by The Offspring. That is killer. Um, but I haven't really listened to the rest of the album yet. Um... Then you've got a band called No FX. Never, I've seen the name of that written down somewhere, but not listened to them. And Pennywise, never heard of those. But that is actually the clown from um, from it. Um, and then you've got Bad Religion. I've heard of Bad Religion. I always thought they were uh, something else, but obviously I was wrong. Um... Actually, Bad Religion. Ain't they got four? Isn't there four members of ISIS in that band? Oh, well, maybe not. Right. Um, Festival. Twisted Sister, man. That's just a cool choice. Man of War. If you watch the video where, or I think it's the start of this video, or maybe the end of, no, the end of last video. Cloudy Milder, you know my um, my response to that. Uh, obituary. I actually said it again. Look, got it right this time. If you watched my last video, I said it wrong a few times. Entombed. I'm glad you like that obituary album. Um, Halloween. And now I'm on, obviously, loving the first uh, phase of Halloween. 
Uh, Judas Priest, you know I love them. Alice Cooper, Dio, Scorpions, ACDC, Bon Scott area, era, anyway. Yeah, all those others, Mike, amazing. Um, obviously, I don't know Entombed. And I really don't want to be watching four hat, scantily um, clad. Um, well, how many's in the band? I don't really want to be watching scantily clad men on stage. That's why I cannot watch um, um, some of the uh, newer Def Leppard stuff because Phil Colan, um, with his top off all the time, just gets on my wick. It's because I'm jealous. <laughs> why can't I have a body like that? Yeah, it ain't gonna happen. And then I couldn't watch um, Alice Cooper with Kane Roberts. That's why I don't buy any DVDs from that era. There's no way I'm watching that guy play guitar. Yeah. You might want to watch that, but not me. Um, so yeah, what a... There's your um, little list. And... Uh, I'll stick that in the old tin. There you go. And the last person who's probably got the most things on the list that I actually was like, um, wow. But, you know, I couldn't put all of these as well. So, but this is um, Scott the Rock Scout. Um, was, I'll tell you about something. It was when I was watching the video and I actually was saying something and I was like, oh God, yes, go on, say that, say that. And I said who it was going to be and he went exactly the same time, the same person. And we'll get to that in a minute. Right, I loved your poster thingy idea that came up the side of the screen. That was awesome. Uh, same with... Um, uh, Andrew Bellina, that was great. You had that thing up the side. Um, I can't do all that sort of stuff. I'm useless. Um, and if you do, if you know, if you can tell me how you do it, I might be able to put it in my videos or even a program you use. Right. So yours is prog metal, so I.E. Um, Queen Strikes type stuff, and and uh, yeah, I'm so pleased Queen Strikes on this list. Queen Strike, Sabotage, actually only because, yeah, no, Sabotage, I haven't listened to enough of their stuff to be able to say anything about them. Crimson Glory got their album, or the one, I think it's the first one. People, I know I've heard you say it's a great album, I need to listen to it before I get rid of it. And then Symphony X, which I've never heard of. Um... But then you go into your uh, festival, which is called Don't Don't Download. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's some cool stuff on here. When I when I saw this list, I was like, yeah, what amazing amazing! I think there's only one band on here that I don't follow. You'll find out in a minute. Pantera, Cowboys from Hell, perfect album, perfect um, time. Skid Row, awesome. Everybody knows I love Skid Row. Megadeth, yes. Wasp, yes. Ozzy Osbourne, awesome. Motley Crue, yes. And the reason why I say that, it's because that is what you, when you said in your video, yes, and I would like to have seen, well, I would prefer to see the, and I went John Karabi here, right? And you said virtually the same, you went John Karabi. Exactly when I said it when I was watching your video. And I was just like, my God. Because John Karabi is such a good singer. He's in the Dead Daisies. That's a really good band. I really need to buy some stuff of theirs. Um, the band that I don't follow is Except, even though I've got one of their albums, the later ones. 
and uh, I don't like the original singer of Accept. Don't like him at all. Um, he's sing. I just don't like his singing. And um, and then you got Kiss, which I think you mentioned that you can only really listen to like the great hits now. Yeah, it can be like that sometimes. And um, my love of Kiss is slowly gone appreciation of Kiss. Yeah, you know, I like all the old stuff, nearly. It's just Gene Simmons is such a dick that I, um, he ruins it for me when it comes to Kiss. Um, Black Sabbath and Iron Maiden. Absolutely amazing line up there, Scott. Um, that is just killer. And uh, I'm going to stick you your thing in there now. Thank you, everybody, for doing your entries. Um, and thanks to um, the people that actually uh, give me a shout out, especially Mike, Metal Mickey. Um, it would be great if people give me more of a shout out. And then I will give you shout out even more. Um, but yeah, check out the playlists if you want to watch the videos again. There's some really cool ones in there. Um, there might be people you haven't subscribed to yet. Um, but yeah, they're all in there, see? All 13. <coughs> what should we do? We're going to do it so it's the last one, okay? The last one I pull out winner I could have worked as a cocktail barman eh? maybe not oh and check out that while you're here the it says 87 versions but check out the 2017 remixes it is amazing right get on with it John because we haven't got a long look this video can only be up 33 minutes right I've got to shake it again my hand is too big to get in the tin ready first loser is Final victim, sorry Brett, you're out of it. Right. Second loser is, oh sorry Lou, Danny, uh, Daddy Sensei Silver. Sorry mate, you all did brilliant videos. I was well um, chuffed. Um, next one, <laughs> I'm sorry. really bad now I was thinking of something else sorry Mr. Hag <laughs> I was laughing because of what I wrote on it um, it's just so I couldn't put Haggerty there sorry Metal Run please just have your name as Metal Run thank you <laughs> right I'm just going to do this because putting that lid on all the time is a pain in the back sorry here we go Fourth loser. Oh, oh my God, sorry Dan. You're out of here. Oh, I've got three minutes to do this. Next loser. You're not really losers, you're just <laughs> losers of the competition. Oh no. This guy just was awesome. And that's Vinyl Transmission. Oh, sorry mate. You're a loser as well. <laughs> I feel really bad. Because oh, I always find things funny. Except from Van Halen. And David Lee Roth. And the guy that didn't doesn't talk to me anymore. On the VC. Why? Right. 
he was the next loser. One, two, three, four, five. So, uh, loser number to six. <gasps> He's gonna kill me. Sorry, Metal Mickey. Sorry, mate, you're out. Bloody loser. <laughs> This reminds me of your last video, uh, your your competition video, Mike. It was so quick. Oh god, they're all stuck together. My god, right. Number seven, loser. Oh, oh no. Sorry, mate. Apex Metal, you're out. Sorry, dude. Great um, little entry though. Quickest entry I've ever had, but I understand you haven't got the. Uh, the, the right equipment to do this. That's what my first girlfriend said to me. Right. <laughs> no, that was just a joke. I think this is the eighth one. God. Oh, shit. Oh, I mean, sorry. Um... Sorry, Rob. Black Star Vinyl, you're out of it, dude. There's a few left. I'm just trying to make sure they weren't stuck together. Number nine. I think this is number nine. We'll probably find out I'll pull the last one out. It'd be number twelve. Oh, go away! Don't stick. Don't stick there. Oh God, it's ripping. And. Right, you were the first one I grabbed. <gasps> Sorry, Andy's Vinyl Den. Sorry, Andy, mate, but you're a loser. <laughs> Don't take it to heart, anybody. I'm just having fun, fun doing this. Oh my God, I've got to hurry up. You do realise this is to win £30, right? I can't remember what number this is, but you, you're a loser. Oh, sorry, Andy. Cloudy Milder. You're a loser. <laughs> that would get you back for running me down about Def Leppard. <laughs> God, got to hurry up. Oh, and it's George at Vinyl City, mate. You second to late. Oh, you're out of here. You're a loser. Last one, mate. No, sorry, last two. God, here we go, freaking Nora, last one, I've got to stop the video, sorry, 